rise from ashes. One I was not expecting to, but will continue. I also don't remember the voice of it on. Oh dear. Oh. I'm confused. Okay? H who? What? Maya? Mia? Sorry, not Mia. That's two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single tra trial. I've had offers, but none I took. Why not? That is, until the day that girl showed up. February 22nd, 10.02 a.m. Right in co-law offices. Why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. There you are! Finally! Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Um, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are. A famous defense attorney, Mia Fey. Um, okay. We have some explaining to do, she said. Oh, uh, you're not Mia Fey, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Fey no longer works here. So, you are the coffee boy? I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right. Wait! You're the Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Um, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. Wait, what? Oh, 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 god, okay, never mind. That's a relief, then! You're better than nobody! I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But, but you're Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated uh, defense attorney? Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you have to try out. Please! I'm out of time! But... Please, you have to help! It, it, it's my sister! Huh? Uh, could it be? Okay, I'll hear you out. Really? Thank you so much! My name's Emma, Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? Um, we'll talk about Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator. Yes, that's right! It's is something wrong? No, it's just you seem kind of er jumpy or maybe just young? Young? I'll be 16 years old this year! Okay! Well then! Oh, I see. Wait, only 16? I'm set to be formally sent to the forensics in three more years. I wish to become quite well known, at my age, no less. Um, so what exactly is your current position then? Well, legally speaking, I guess you call me a... 11th grader? If I really do... If I'm ready to do my job at my age, no less. Great, and our future professional in training. I'll do scientific investigator. So you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up then? Excuse me? 
Why not, child? I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have a goal, albeit a very unusual one. I believe investigations should be done scientifically. Don't you? Uh, yeah. Sure can't fault well, her for lack of enthusiasm. This case is handled scientifically. I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Her sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. Guess we should get down to it. Yeah, let's talk about the case first, before we do that. So what's the what's about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow? My sister didn't do it! She wouldn't stab someone with a knife! She wouldn't! So, it's a murder case. Here, if there's a witness who saw her do it, she didn't do it! I know she didn't do it! It's a scientific fact! And there's a witness. Just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right. I suppose I will. I'm sorry bringing uh, uh, me a fay, but... That's interesting. How would you know my... Uh, Mia? Yeah, I want to know that. It's, uh, it's for Mia specifically. This Mia Faye person was a few years below her in school. Oh. So they went to same school, huh? She always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. And well, I need one. Um, incidentally, Mia is a woman. Now that you mention it, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Oh boy. Well, actually, when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. Huh? But, but she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, um, well since that's it, I guess it's time to go to the detention center. February 22nd, detention center. Visitor's room. I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She's not quite all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. Guard, huh? I thought... Guard, I thought I told you I don't want visitors. <laughs> so sorry, ma'am. Just, just your sister. No excuses. Or did you not want a raise this year? Mm -hmm. uh, understood, ma'am. What was that all about? Oh! Hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing? But look! I didn't want to come here either, okay? But you're trying to smile and you still don't have a defense attorney! I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Or I'm sorry, what exactly is it that you do? My name is Lana. Lana Sky. I'm Chief Prosecutor for this district. Y you're a prosecutor? Two sisters? Well, they will there. Could this be a coincidence? This sounds kind of like a shot at redemption for not being able to save Mia. Yeah. This also uh, sounds very similar to like classmates in school and whatnot. Or some classmates who are similar people, schoolmates where one ends up being a defense attorney and the other prosecutor. Sounds exactly kind of what we had between Edgeworth and Phoenix. Emma, Lana, I mean, they're just like... Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? 
talk about her first. So you're the chief prosecutor? That's correct. I'm responsible for every scene and every trial handed by prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. It's awfully large stuff, though. Still, I'm a little surprised. I think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it's impossible. You wouldn't. Um, Lana, what happened to your hand? Oh, this? I caught myself by accident when I stabbed him, that is. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal. I, I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? I have to change the subject. Um, you were in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that too, did she? Well, well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Though it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey, it was in law school. I was in my third year, and she was auditing the class. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. E excuse me? Intellectually attracted. I was top of her class in school. I was the best there was. Oh. I'm doing pretty good in school too, by the way. Sounds a bit different when Emma says it. Let's talk about the case. There's something you should know from the start. Which is, the in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? But wait, but the suspect, the suspect is... Me. I did it. But Mr. Wright? But, well, why don't you begin telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 2nd, and... 5.15 p.m. That's quite specific. There's in the witness's disposition. The witness clearly saw me come in in the crime. Uh, fine! That was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? Time to place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. Why is that in the trunk of my subordinate's car? Prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's car trunk? Classy. I was arrested on the spot, caught red handed as it were. Well, that's just great. So, who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the prep term is detective. A detective? Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. But by you. Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. Let me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh-oh. But what, Mr. Wright? What does it mean? But it means... The police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. This case just gets worse and worse with everything I learned. Well, Mr. Wright, I excuse me. As you can plainly see, I am admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say there's no way you can take this case. None. But, but, Lana! What, why? Why are you doing this to me? You never think of anyone but yourself. No, you didn't do it, Lana. I know. So, so how can you say you did? If I lose you, well, we all alone. I, I hate you, Lana. Mr. Wright? Y yes I believe our discussion here is ended. The rest, I leave to you. 
Um, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed after all. The case is over. But right, I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Well, I was confessed to the con, yes. Something doesn't fit. So that look in Emma's eyes? There's something else going on here. I'm going to find out what. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister, she's not always like that, you know? I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everyone, Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... Well, maybe not. Sound like there's something here that defies the simplest scientific explanation. Let's go check out this underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Oh, okay! Is there anything else? Nope, I can't. Okay. February 22nd, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. So this is the lot where it happened? They're still investigating! I mean, that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey everyone! Keep up the good work! Hey, what are you thinking? Well, there are going to be my co-workers three years from now, after all. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes? Try not to stand out too much here, see? Hey there! You expecting to go unnoticed here, partner? P partner. Oh! I thought that was gumshoe! What do we have here? Looks like a plan thing got loose from the branch and stuff to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep them dog inside down, partner. Mr. Marshall! Marshall? Looks like the sheriff to me. Look at here. Uh, Bambina? I know how to fail. But this is my gang's gold strike, see? So strike? So I claim to our territory with a mother load of evidence. You are fixing with me. I mess with your... with what's... That's what falls on your regret, partner. Know what dreams? Uh, uh, cacti on desert dream? You want to? What's this guy talking about? We need to head home now. Happy trails, Bambina. I don't even know what that. Was that a hombre, a friend of yours? Uh, kinda, sort of. Yeah, he's a detective. Who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West, it seems. Wow, oh, like man. Look at door! That must mean something! I'm not sure the doors mean anything. No, it won't open! I'm a serious lock! Fail to see what's mysterious about it. This is right. You need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's find some investigation first, shall we? Aha! A ladder! Um, that's a step ladder. What's the difference in scientific terms, please? Is it scientific, huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Wright. This all seems um, so horribly familiar somehow. Was in our way. It's got a faucet for water. Wait, I know! This wall is very facet- uh, hiding the truth. This is no wall, but a water tank! Let's see how it makes a difference either way. I know all drop. Looks like it's filled with water. It it's heavy! I can't even budge it! 
drum over here is on its side. Wait, I know! I'll hide in here and do a stake out! I think I'll probably just get arrested. But you mean I even have to hide in the drum to get arrested? What? I'm not suspicious! No, but you're on a crime scene. So, you know. This is where the cars leave the lot. The air on the ground makes it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit! Well, maybe it's both. Kind of a dual purpose. I'm the theory of relativity! What? Huh? I've gotta write this down. Ah! Hey! Hey, Mr. Wright! Do you know, was Mr. Relativity German or was he British? Mr. Relativity? Are you sure that was his name? Nope, I meant to hit L and slide. That's interesting. Well, no time to wait, so let's get hunting for clues. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Well, partner, looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. Sure. Like I said before, this here are claim. That's not too mosey on long, unless you be fixing to bite the bullet. Yeah, sorry. C could you tell us one thing? Who owns that car? Well, well, the little Billy's got a good nose on her. You want to know who rides that red mountain with the body in her saddle, eh? Please? No problem, partner. About time for a bite tails anyway. Getting us up to the saloon on the 12th floor of the prosecutor's office. Might find you a Servesta you like. Prosecutor's office? Where does this guy can be in? And when, for that matter. At the south, look up Light Tail Saloon for Vesta. Maybe we should check out room 1202, the High Prosecutor's office. High Prosecutor? No, she's cheap. Oh gosh, won't they be Edgeworth again? Wouldn't that be embarrassing? In any case, stay away from the guard. You can look around here all you like, just keep your paws off our claim. Right, great. Great! Maybe there are some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out! Oh, I can no longer slide. Dang it! Prosecutor's office. Who? No, it is Edward. It is. It is. I don't have that jacket anywhere. February twenty second. High prosecutor's office, room twelve o two. This this is quite the place. You can say that again. But you know, Mr. Wright, you could do your office up like this too. All you need is a money and a little design sense. I'm not doing so well in either of those areas. In any case, it looks like the prosecutor is out. Let's come back later. What are you gonna say about this? There's a jacket framed on the wall like a painting. Fabric is high grade cashmere, Italian styling. Silk ruffles, turquoise buttons, and a gold thread collar. I'm guessing it's worth around five thousand. But five thousand dollars? Think of what your suit would be about. But that's enough of that. I don't need my life appraised. Thank you very much. I was waiting for him to say that looks awfully familiar, but no. Oh, what an amazing bouquet! No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead, Wendy. Wendy? Heard that name somewhere before. And here beside it, a giant steel samurai! Oh, I want one! Huh? There's something around on the bottom of this book. Between a rock and a hard place. Wendy. Is the prosecutor in this office named Wendy? Nope, but I think that's the assistant. Um, I don't think so. I agree with you. I worked it. It's quite 
tidy as one might expect. What a nice desk! Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's part so well I can see my own reflection. I prefer not to look at myself while I work. Whoa! These are all case files? They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder! The shelves are already packed super tight with that. What's the prosecutor going to do when they get new files? Splendid, Mr. Wright! What an unusual observation! I think that was a compliment? Hey, chessboard! I'm not too up on my chest, but it looks like the blue's in a bit of a tight spot. Run nights have surrounded the blue pond! Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. And check out that poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. Kind of reminds me of you. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> yeah, I know, but isn't the point to surround the king? <laughs> Oh, Edward, you got baggage. <laughs> oh, why sofa comfy sofa? Makes me want to say sofa, so good. Sofa, sofa? Yeah, I got it. I'm glad she's got not an inspiring comedian. Okay. What's this? It looks like a shield of some kind. It's broken. Maybe it's made out of chocolate, and the other take a bite out of it. It appears to be made out of bronze with gold plating. It's not worth much. The seventy dollars tops. This girl has a thing about price and everything, doesn't she? I wonder what that big K means. Mysterious. I think it stands for karma, as in Von Karma. Just guess. Have I gotten everything? Cute! What pretty tea set! I got more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing! The drawer is filled with packets of tea leaves. They're all sore by the place and origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend! My exquisite at least one concoction. Such a thing is taking a hobby too far. Right in the same window. Whoa! What a view! It must be nice to have an office on the 12th floor. I guess you would feel important. Incidentally, where do you jump? Where are you to jump out of the window? The time until it packed with the ground would be. We don't need to know this. We don't need to know it. Got it! Approximately 3.23 seconds. That's handy to know. Hang on, there's something. I think I got everything. <sighs> Underground parking lot, I guess? Let's go back here.
I need to look. Okay. Okay. Apparently, I didn't look hard enough in the Silent Underground Park. A wallet? Um, excuse me, officer. What, what? Wait, what are you doing, Mr. Wright? What I'm doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. I don't believe it. This is really basic. Anything a cram sign is evidence. What's too scientific about this, please? Just put it in your pocket. H how is that scientific? Sounds like theft to me. Walt with his loose open pocket. I called. I'm called to do it already, at my tender age! Here, I'll teach you the trick to examine the evidence in detail, okay? The way your eyes are sparkling, I can tell she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay, now, look at the court record. You have to be sure to examine the evidence carefully on all sides. Oh, are we learning- Are we learning a new way to examine evidence? No. Let's start examining it from every angle. Look, I think there might be a clue here. You should check out with the press with the A button. This, this is an ID card. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. ID number 584218. See? Well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I guess, though I don't see what scientific science has to do with it. Let's find the add to the court record. Let's just start to examine every piece of evidence we find. I've got some I got to be on my toes from now on. Excuse me. Re you two all set. Us? Hi? What's this? She couldn't be. You're selling lunches? Here? This is a crime scene. Hello! Half and half, was it? Oh, uh, thanks. And you, sir? Y yes. The crunchy goodness coming at you. I think this is a business. Area is off limits to anyone without clearance. Such a passes by. Or are you officer? Uh, no, but you you don't definitely look like the type to have clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. You have my days of the Kaffa cleaner over. Kaffa, huh? You no, I'm just kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. You might say. Yes, all sorry details. The secrets? Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? I'm referring to the murder, the stabbing of that detective. What? what? When a square saw me come in the crime. You, you mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, cough up, Queen. Tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. Or, before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Y yes, ma'am. Yeah, she means it. Oh, we'll talk about you first. Um, can we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I came here every day to sell lunches. I'm part only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Probably because these warriors pay a lot of money on things they don't need to. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? N no. Only true con of swords can understand. Fine, you can only tell some of his tried general to so treble like lunch set. Ah, uh, never mind, you win. You don't want to appreciate part of a try a low bite flavor. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security 
tea room here at the prosecutor's office. Your, your boyfriend? See the security room over there? With glass walled booth? I saw my lunches, and since I'm here on the way, I dropped in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess some lunch is more important than romance. So scientifically analyzed the data so far, you must start a lunch farm without zero motive for coming here. This all analysis, not what you witnessed. So what exactly is it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. I now feel like I know when they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky with that knife so. Her had flash and anger brings him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery eyes to this world? Well, the cruelly cut still rings in my ears. And the rhythmic beak of the land of the sky is nice. Wait a second, you know on the sky? Hmm, of course, it's quite beat becoming a chief prosecutor. How many lunch boxes of sin did you have to make that journey, I wonder? She, she always travels light. What is this very lunch I know of chief prosecutor's name? Yesterday was the day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the day special delivery on Friday day every week is salmon. Destiny was yesterday special for some reason. You're a defense attorney, right? You should know that. You should know that found the seeds of the evil ones who hopped the gen of this inequality. Iniquity. The evil ones? Prosecutors, they have no qualms at all about black in the name of innocence. And yesterday, they put in the most homage to the most evil one of all. And your reward for the king of prosecutors, what a farce! So she's saying, oh no, that trophy's the for king! So she's saying, they're sent to our prosecutor convention yesterday. I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, um, evil? Young miss, must be at your own risk. Must have found out why they call me the cop of Queens. Ew! Well, it was heinous all the evil ones they awarded yesterday. It's in his car when they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. But r really? Really? Well, I'm told. Really, well, I'm told to do something fair. This lunch may have a thing against prosecutors. What about the prosecutor's office? Do you have a bad experience with a prosecutor, Miss Star? This is some hospital. Hostility. Hostility? Huh! Perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they snap. I like the ten day old clams and the chowder. When the star was in all the sons are legal trouble in the past. That'd be sure cause of food poison, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean now you're talk I mean now you're talking cough up queen. Just a lunch fan, but now I'm not sure. About this card. Lunch vendors only accept cash, no cards. Especially that card belonging to someone else. No, no, no. This isn't a credit card. It's an ID card. It belonged to a detective. And you're showing this to me, the lunch lady, why? It's like showing a, a fine honeyed ham to a detective. I don't always feel like I'm being mocked. Okay, I just thought maybe... But there's nothing... Alright, we can't... Yeah, no, we still can't slide. I'm gonna go back. Oh!
October 22nd, High Prosecutor's Office, Room 1202. This is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. Great change from your office, really. Thanks. Look, look, there's a trophy of some kind here. A trophy? What, that shield? Things are on to display stuff like this. Proctor's offices, they must be a really suck up jerk. Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright. You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice. You yep, called it! I called it! Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Ah! M -m Mr. Edgeworth! Y you know him from somewhere? just said the Edgeworth murder in the Miles Edgeworth murder case when we first met Phoenix. Do you have a memory of a goldfish or something? You, you know from somewhere? Of course! I'm his biggest fan! The sister I introduced us once and... Right. This is the chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. No, no, no! Did I? No! This is just Mr. Wright here, he <laughs> Hey, don't blame me! We're just in here to investigate murder case! Murder? If I was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot! Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take a stab in the dark! And that's... his car! That will be my car. What of it? What? Y your car? Say one thing, she certainly can scream. Um, right, so. Hey, I'd rather do to be honest. It's been a miracle. I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors? You've heard about the rumors about me, haven't you? Miles, I'd do you remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy? Watch an evidence arranging cross systems or searches, you name it. It's you, my interest was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, we're still to say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy! Some people need very little. It's a fact of life. Impossible to stop. But I don't even go as far as to present me with toys like this. I think it's funny. Toys? That brown shield? There's gotta be a story behind that one. Two and two together, Phoenix! So the bio is found in your car? Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After all, you went through the trouble to help me last year. No, 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 we don't think we did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Uh, wait, no, she didn't do that. I mean... Wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Yes, sir. Mia Sky. It's, uh... Nice to meet you again. Oh, that didn't stand for us all. Oh, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit, it was a surprise for me too. I think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still, I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. Wait, what did you say? Well, Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. <laughs> you, Mr. Edgeworth. Hot chickens! Chief Prosecutor Sky, yes, we worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember! Two years ago, I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. M mistaken? Why? When I 
I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. What? What? Mr. Edward, your knife was a murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife I kept in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. I don't have knife out into the court back at school. Um, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? <laughs> there he is. Come on, get to the joke. You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Um, so, hey, Edgeworth. No, what can you do? Because that's my policy to discuss evidence with the defense. Especially with you. He doesn't like you very much, does he, Mr. Wright? Now, that dress is never personal. It's all about winning tomorrow. Fine! Can you- What can you tell me this guy? Say, Edgeworth, I was wondering about this. But Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Are you sure you'd be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh. I'll take it for sure, won't he? Sai? I wish I could be on the same side as Mr. Edward. But then my sister will be found guilty. She doesn't need to I'm gonna start getting depressed. Never mind, we're not. Um, it was nice seeing you. We're gonna go. Bye, Edward. Can't. Nope. Okay, where do I need to go after talking with Edward? Um, cause yeah, I'm confused. Okay, we need to, I think we need to do, okay, I think we need to do a bit of, I think we need to do a bit of, um, yeah, stuff. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? on it. Huh? What's that? It's the king of prosecutors. King of prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? That K, that's... K stands for king? Yeah, you got a problem with that. I didn't design the thing. King of prosecutors, kind of like employee of the month, only better. I. Mm -hmm. Good to move. Okay, that's added. So that's the king of prosecutors' shield, huh? Well done, that's right. You must be proud to be the king of prosecutors. Congratulations, king of prosecutors! Please, stop saying that. That doesn't look like one thing. Why is the tip of this shield broken off? Probably because of karma, or it was in the trunk and something happened with it. Can we ask about why? No. My, my! What an amazing bouquet! Just right for Mr. Edward. No kidding. Here's the card on it. Back from the dead, one day. I've heard that name somewhere before. Beside it, a giant seal samurai. Well, I want one. Huh? Something written on the bunch of his foot. I love how Edward is totally fine with us searching his room. Fan rock out heart face, Wendy. Wendy? She was her Edward's fiance? 
I'm a dwarf. What is it? I'm here to sell the crest with the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report. What? Did you find no evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Scott? I don't like the way this conversation's good at all. Here, guys, sir? No, sir. No, no, I'm of that kind, sir. Not on this report, sir. I think I just heard that rose lid blow. Mr. Edward Flynn, this is all very tight, is it? I made a clear to request. A clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. <laughs> sir, but sir! I'm just following on, sir. They told me to bring this to you. And the web of the particular arrangement. Give me your name. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, sir. But Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. Right. Officer Meekins, take a report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. But, 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 but sir, I didn't know. Poor guy. Looks like he was out on the day they gave her brains and good luck. Right. Yo, yes, sir. Ah! He caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. But let's see what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. It's fine to calm down, at least. Alright, cool. They got an upgrade to the police department. Oh no, we're at the entrance. Okay, that explained that. February 22nd, police department entrance. Phew, we're finally here. Why did they put the police department so far away from the prosecutor's office? Beat me, that almost took 30 minutes by taxi and traffic wasn't even that bad. Police department, huh? I've only been to the criminal affairs the next door. Huh? Hold on, what's that? What in the... Disturbing! Why is it undulate like that? Oh wait, I know. This is a blue bat. Sure. I'm trying to make him the police mascot. They shouldn't! It's a terrible idea. Absolutely terrible idea. Right? You sure know a lot about the police. No, he does seem familiar somehow. I know why. I know why it's familiar. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? It's not just me dancing with the blue badger. Uh oh, he noticed me. Sure running over here fast. Hey, about what you doing here? That's my line, detective, don't you? So exactly, why are you dancing over there? What? what uh, well, well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This chance to get information. Hey, I'll have you know, I'm a very busy man. So. What? I'll give one word of advice, pal. Well, now I have to do. But do not agree to defend the suspect in this case. But why not? Huh? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. Especially in March, since the detective and the prosecutor turned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well, no, come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. Also, why would someone come to say, yes, I did a crime? The one they didn't do. Especially if you're a chief prosecutor. But, but what the evidence was fake? Hey, you pal, can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so beamed at me? She's re a relative of the suspect. She's Lana Skysis. Whoa, the chief prosecutor's little sister! Please just investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically! 
Yes, sir. On the oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. Don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Huh? It's just a sensitive issue with us these days. Fair enough. So, why are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? We are well enough to win. Get me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean, Miss Dan? Then what happened? The things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true, we've never had the chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest rank people are being left into criminal affairs now. Most rank people cry in that. There's a chief of detectives. Don't let any of us rank and file detectives in the all. None of you? Oh, it's more trouble. Isn't that a little one? Well, I thought they spent the day yanking the badger down. Down, down, pot. Uh, isn't there anything else you could be doing? I'm sorry. Oh! Okay. The chief of police himself is directly investigating. This investigation. Sir, talk. Let's restart that. The chief of police himself is directing this investigation. Well, Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall. I think that I'm just seem to know that Marshall guy. Control the man in charge of a crime scene. It's unheard of. Bell. Yeah, so, um. So, what can you tell us about? I'm Detective Gumshoe. What can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, Bell. This is Detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. People like you, they get me into so much trouble all the time. Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. Let's see, a first good man. Good man? Sounds familiar. Nah, no, my mistake. Didn't you work together with any criminal offense? Whoa, now I remember. Bruce Goodman, he's the victim. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Um. I mean, you're a big catcher fan. Maybe? Okay, first let's talk about Bruce Goodman. So this ID card belongs to the victim? What's a detective like myself? Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm. Don't you think it was a little strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, give someone tripping at the police department yesterday. There's evidence transfer for the case he had till two years ago. Oh my. Oh, come on! We're having another if this is related to the past? I kind of want more cases like Larry where it's not related to anything at all. Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but... When his uh, chief uh, prosecutor's guy called them out to there, took the parking lot. Well, kind of fussing as much. Hey, um... Oh, hey, that's it! That's the king of Buttsicles of the war that Mr. Edward got yesterday. Are you at the ward, Samir? Oh, me, Detective Gumshoe? Look, Ben, I got a reward for my diligence myself. Ah, uh, congratulations. I was wondering, why is the ward a shield? Why is it broken? 
Oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Hurry, forgot. But I was proud of Mr. Edward for winning that award. I'm all the naysayers and the prosecutor's office. They say it must be because of rumors. That defense done Hanamund. Why is there Edward was found innocent? This is foul. There have always been rumors about Edward. Watch and evidence making deals with witnesses. Nothing outright, but there were always whispered rumors. Since it was good to murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But, but there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edward Nolan has unusually strong dyes in the department high up. It's only natural that people will be suspicious. No idea of under the gun. Wait, this is the latest case started in a new world, man. He said all the reason he took this case because he came up for the chief prosecutor's position himself. What? But I know the truth, though. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Edward is back in the bullet in this one. He's doing this for all of us. So. Until the battery dies. Blue Badger fades to dance until it drops. They really don't think that's about to go record. Oh, there. 
That's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? You met the guy who is. What was his name? The guy in the parking lot? That'd be Officer Marshall. Who's appointed directly by the chief of police. Officer Marshall. Is he some kind of wild west sheriff or something? No, Jake Mass is just a regular officer. From West LA. From there, I wasn't sure. Look, fella, let me try making these things a little easier for you. Show them this and they'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Don't you live in Oh, good! Surprised if this gets us anywhere. Sounds like you're supposed to be there. No one will look at you twice, though. Good. Alright. Back to the underground parking lot. Prosecutor's office on the ground parking lot. So I'm actually gonna still going. I have to, I have to begin back to the shop. Sorry, it looks like I'll be stuck in this pit until the sun. Sorry, it looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sinks in. See my dreams tonight, then, baby. Oh, stay here. Uh, uh, hello, hello. One surprise looks, didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs too. Are you? This woman is a player, okay. What happened to the security guard? How, uh, what's wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that's lost its herd. Jake Marsh. Strange guy to find your crime scene. I'm a cold gray for men who lost their dreams. I'm mean, a like joke of a split. Dreaming of the death of touch with the judgment. He, he's asleep. Well, oh, should we show this helpless game someone to catch them in dress? I want to talk about the big thing. There's something I want to ask you. See, oh, no, the same thing. Okay, cool. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you, final letters to me go right into the split tomb. It's a live introduction from Detective Gumshoe. Maybe investigate. Gumshoe. Ah, that old cow dog. He on a birthday party or something. Huh? Look, where it says should the live introduction, it says invitation. Ah, uh, I think he just missed it. Wait, why am I getting all defensive here? No one, it's just proof from Detective Gunshield, better than a blood test. Guess I'll, I better let you in then. Th thank you, Officer Marshall. Well, that's right, he's a patrolman, not a detective. Which reminds me. Hey, wait a second! Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or hire? Well, the foot clues a garland. Welcome to our gold strat. Be like the central of the stuck up for land unknown. Manifest destiny. Let's have a hoot and alley. It's the police investigation of the land. Well, the story, what do you say? I say it won't be needed this time. Victim now, Officer Marshall. Can you tell us more about the victim? The man knows that young. Remember that, Bodna? I'm gonna be a little more specific. Bruce Goodman, you're the detective, right? Well, 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 aren't you a fussy dog about now? Just a good man was stabbed here at 5 15. The son of Madonna told me the tale. Stop. One step to the chest, a fun piece of work. Just hit the autopsy report. Oh, good! I'm 
my sister involved with the victim in any way? Why well, you should mention that, Bambina. The two prosecutors got in the have not had nothing in common at all. No, nothing in common? Apparently we weren't together on a case a few years back. So there is no motive. Someone was a particularly gifted detective. It's one reason why I didn't do much work with the chief prosecutor. My sister called the victim here and say the murder, right? Here to this parking lot? So it seems. Calling an armed man to a shootout that I knew. First things first. Um. I want to see what this autopsy report says. After you lost a bomb and so tried to end. Within an hour and a half from 4 p.m. But, Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective? You call me out, they shooting you for that in Texas, huh? Some fancy shoot detectives a few years ago to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. But you're a patrolman now, so how can you be charged with a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short of hands right now. I'll keep an eye out in the meantime. I thought though. Detective Gunshi was saying it had nothing to do. That's not important, at least. He's nothing but an old cow dog that can't find scale. That's because he runs with Edra, eh? Edra? The cow dog didn't kick her. I was a cow run by order of the chief police. Just you don't realize it yet. Things like redial. 
Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, you never know who people from your generation. Alright, let's just check the phone out. See who the owner of this phone called last. It's a self defense, and he doesn't think that he just punches the black pen. Hey, that song, I know that. Hey, what's going on over there? Ah, uh, uh, so, so sorry. I see you, partner. Press me down on the phone, then, didn't you? Oh, well, yeah. Who's found this is anyway? It was on the ground over there. Who is it? That belongs to Chief Prosecutor Scott. What? It's my sister's? Finally dropped it to and she'd take him to custody right after the crime. The last call was made right when the murder occurred. But she was fixing to call someone. She only spoke a few seconds before the this. Who'd she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. I got a question for you, partner. Try your phone ring just now. One of the new flame ringtones. Oh, that. Oh. I'm sorry. That was my phone. What? what? Your phone? Yeah, it's uh, kind of strange, but... Someone called me Risey picked up the air phone. A wrong number. I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. Uh oh, we're beside the Wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. So far, it's a court record. Yeah, let's talk about Land of Sky. So there's no connection between Chuck and Goodman and my sister? That's correct, but there's a gold mine of evidence against her. Prosecutor tomorrow's not an edge of itself. Friend is just a fake side bambina. Medic condolences. Officer Marshall? Yeah, bambina. How can you say that? You and my sister, you were! There's something between the scop and her sister that I don't know about. I apologize, bambina. Something must have gone to me. It's the dry wind that's blown. Prosecutor's office. Dry or ill will, something's up here. Who? Uh. Suspicion about Edra have been flying around for nearly two years now. Which is when his first case got around. So. Um. Oh, I just realized how ironic it is that. I can get my Edward Wood thing very heavily insult. So every time he's gone against us, he has lost. <laughs> Two years now. Bludge evidence and ran testimony to me. It's unbeatable because he did whatever he did with Liz. I'm able to as a deli met you. Rumors are just rumors, aren't they? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. You found the rumors about Edward through their source, you find one person. But they're off limits, untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? Hate to say this, but it's your sister, Bambina. Chief Prosecutor Lance Sky. What? My sister? I just got lost all this guy by himself. Some people loaded their guns with bullets, some people loaded them with wheels. They're saying Edward's making deals to win trials? When their gun chest that bound to be bullets. The old diners say. The big old secret hidden around here. Everyone knows it. No one to check, don't you take off the case? Did they target him because he was close to Edward? Visitors part. I can see the legend on Kara or 
there, far in the distance. Okay, you're right. I like that cake design on the door. Pretty cartoon town much down a juicy looking steak. Doesn't that strike you as a little creepy? Just don't think too deeply about it, and you'll be fine. We don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears. No, my ears. Maybe it's due to the barometric pressure. Too bad for the about. Hey, what did you just say? See, you can hear just fine. The phone's broken. some clues. You have an autopsy report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. So, you think we'll be okay? Well, the only thing bothering me is when the confessing to the crime. She says she did it. No problem! I can guarantee she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma? Yes? Now that song on your phone... You know, that song your phone plays when it rings? What? Does it still 
Samurai theme song, isn't it? That popular TV show for kids? I found that ring earlier wasn't mine. It was yours. At 5.18, just after the murder took place. My sister called you, didn't she, Emma? I- I'm sorry! Can't tell her what you talked about? I- she hung up right away. I see. There's sister Emma on the alert. Okay. Chicken for us up the top front of the district. Got a bad feeling about this. Maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. I think it would be right. Well, that's a good place to stop. Yes, we are going to save. Right, and then.